Another one of the many stars at Franks and YCW is Brenton Credlin, who's also on Richmond's VFL list. Brenton, how are you enjoying that opportunity? Uh, yeah, really good, yeah. Loving, uh, loving it down at Tigerland. Um, yeah. Had the opportunity come for you to get down there? Uh, it followed after, I think it was an interleague game two or three years ago, and then obviously won the flag, and I think I got best on ground uh, in that game, and then one of the uh, other boys, Colo, uh, he used to be down at Tigerland as well, and knows uh, the manager there, so they gave us a call, and yeah, it all sort of went from there. Just must be a great feeling, because the clubs won the premiership, they've got over 90,000 members, they're one of the biggest clubs, yeah. always been a big club, but a bit of a, well, a sleeping giant that has been in hibernation because the club hasn't had success for a while, but now they are up and about, it's a terrific atmosphere to have them going so well, I would have thought. Yeah, definitely, yeah, it's um, really exciting down there, and having all the coaches and stuff, you know, you learn so much down there, and um yeah, it's really, really good down there. Love it. Do you think you're a better player having had that experience compared to past years? And I hear that you were a magnificent player before you went down to Richmond. So do you feel you've improved? Yeah, definitely. I've learned so much. Um, even just like around the ground, you learn a lot more. Um, it was like one-on-one playing against... Um, training with a lot of really good players. You obviously learn techniques and all that sort of stuff. And the coaches are really good and... Um, you learn a lot about you know voice around the ground. I feel like I'm a better leader now because of, of going up there. Yeah, definitely. And have you met Dusty or, or had a chance to go one on one with Dusty? Uh, we played a, um, <laughs> an AFL intra my first year there, and I sort of almost brushed him, but that was, no, that was about it really. He's pretty quiet around the club. But Riggedy's so strong. Oh yeah, 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 very, very strong. How do you think YCW are going? They've had so many injuries. Been a tough year for them. Oh, it's been a tough year. I think we sort of always have these lapses. Over the last few years, we've had these lapses, but just obviously haven't lost the games. Um, I think we'll bounce back, definitely. Um, you know, we get a few per- people back, and, you know, we'll just see what happens, though. Right, so bye for Richmond this week. What's likely to happen next week? Uh, oh, we'll just have to see what happens with all the AFL lists, whether or not I get a game or not. Sort of all depends on them. Is, so. it, is it a bit frustrating because you don't sort of know? I mean, if... But whether you're going to be in the team or not, I mean, obviously you come back here and play, but there's been a couple of times when you've been held over, and I know that's pretty frustrating for Wayne and the boys down here because you're fit and ready to go, and yeah. they haven't had a lot of players fit, have they, in recent weeks? Well, I think that's just what you sign up for when you go to an AFL line club. You know, you get all the facilities and the coaching as well, but, you know, you just all, all depends on the bigger picture, I suppose. Good on you, uh, Brendan. Always good to chat, and uh, good luck for the rest of the year for Richmond and also... For YCW, may they uh, keep improving and try and win another premiership for you. Thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, on you, mate.